the question is really, well, how do we go from participating in our culture to participating in our political and civic structures? If we look at, for example, the young people who made videos in support of the Obama campaign a year or so back, how many of them got their start making movies of themselves skateboarding or making fan, fan films or whatever? They acquired their skill by simply playing around with media uh, in the terms of the Digital Youth Project, messing around. It comes first, they were involved in messing around the technology, geeking out around a certain set of subject matter. So what I'm interested in right now is what it would it mean to geek out for democracy? What does it mean to be as passionate about the future of your society as you are about anime, about games, about the sort of forms of popular culture that young people are involved with? We could also point to, for example, the Harry Potter Alliance. And the Harry Potter Alliance is a, a group that organizes around human rights issues around the world. So Andrew Slack, the 20-something-year-old leader of the group, said when he read Harry Potter, what he saw was a story of a young man who recognized evil in his society, the government was covering up, the, news, the mass media of his time was lying about it, but he saw through it, organized his classmates to form Dumbledore's army, and went out and changed the world. And that's his account of the plot of Harry Potter. And he said, well, what if we had a Dumbledore's army in our world? What issues would it tackle? What are the concerns? What would you do? And, how, and uses that fantasy of Dumbledore's army to mobilize now 100,000 young people around the world are involved in the Harry Potter Alliance, and they're going out to deal with uh, human rights violations in, in the third world, Darfur, Uganda, uh, workers' rights issues in the United States around Walmart, um, gay, gay marriage propositions in Maine and California they've mobilized on. They just raised a cargo plane worth of supplies for Haiti. Uh, so they work on a range of issues. So the people who are involved in that are not the kids who join student government. They're the kids who were, you know, playing Dungeons and Dragons, the kids who, you know, were collecting monster magazines, the kids who read a lot of science fiction books. They're suddenly finding a vehicle to think politically through these kinds of interest-driven networks. And we're seeing again and again these interest-driven networks are preparing the way for them to think of themselves as citizens in a new way, to mobilize the skills they developed as contributing to online communities and participatory culture and direct them toward changing society, changing the world.